Okay, what's the difference between a metal and a non-metal in terms of the drift velocity of the electrons? Well, metals typically are conductors. They have lots of free electrons, so a, lot, a sea of electrons that are available to move electrical energy from one end of the metal to the other. Whereas semiconductors and insulators do not have these free electrons. They have electrons that are fixed, held in place in a fixed lattice. So they may only have a few electrons available. Now, if we assume that the same current is going through both these materials and the dimensions of the wires are the same, then what we notice is that the electrons in the conductor have to move much more slowly than they do in the semiconductor. This is because there are a lot more of them to move. So to carry the same amount of energy from one end to the other, they don't need to be going as fast. Whereas the electrons in the semiconductor have to be moving typically in meters per second. Whereas those in a conductor, we're talking centimeters per second. It's interesting to note here that when we heat up a conductor, the charged nuclei, the positive uh, ions here, they start vibrating more quickly and they get in the way of the electrons. So they actually increase resistance when we heat them up. Whereas in the semiconductor, when we heat them up, we actually liberate more free charge carriers. So we actually introduce more electrons that are able to move. So we actually reduce the resistance of a semiconductor. And that's it.